So what, catch can you cook? All right, guys, so we're heading back in. We had a pretty good day. I don't know what we caught. Uh, I'm sure we're probably over 10 blues right now. Uh, so we did talk about, uh, me and Alexis, we mentioned a while back that we want to do a, a catch, clean, and cook video. Uh, so obviously we talked about having dinner tonight. We are hoping to get some blue cats. And uh, we actually did get quite a few. So hopefully there's not a lot of people at the cleaning station making a lot of noise. Uh, so I can actually talk through the tutorial how to clean the, the, the blues. And uh, if they're not, great. We should be able to get some good shots, good video. But yeah, so hopefully look forward to a catch, clean, and cook. We're going to go watch a movie. It'll be a late dinner for us. But it should be pretty good. And also, you know, our other, our other objective was to get fish for my work for fish fry. And we, yeah, we definitely made that. So uh, it's going to end up being a good video today. But yeah, enjoy it. My sister, first time coming out with me. She's down here somewhere. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi, bye, guys. So, yeah, so we're going to go clean some fish and we're going to have ourselves some good dinner tonight. So, yeah, stay tuned for the next parts. Yeah. Get it. Take out the rod holder. Okay, so to make it easier, go over your part. All right, net person, get the net. You're so close to that. Hmm? Yeah. All right, guys. So, brought my sister with me and Alexis. Say hi, Alexis. Hi. There you are. So we'll see what my sister's got. I think I might have gotten away. Take you off. I don't know, she thinks it came off. Alright guys, we were uh, actually picking up our lines to, to move to a different drift. That was our first drift. My sister got a blue. And my sister Jessie. Hi. So, and got Alexa back there at the netter. The weekend, she's not working, so she's joining the party. You got it, Alexa? Nice blue for our first one. Get over here. Alright. Probably get a picture back on that. You're gonna hold it where my hand is, okay? I'll just show the camera. Lex is getting there with her. Nice fish. First blue. And no, that's not Kira, that's Lola. Hold her. Hey, Lola, come here. My sister's dog. Alright, cool. First blue of the morning. <laughs> we were trying to get some dinner. There we go. Ooh. 
All right, throw in the ice chips. You're gonna do the orange chips on like so we're gonna we're gonna take a picture when we're done. Get a picture when we're done. Yeah, we will just get the rest of the rods in. Oh, there you go. Up there. there. Yeah, we got chicken breast and carp. All right, where's the net girl? girl back there should have seen it coming. But I do. <laughs> oh, you still got the bait. Yeah, that's a good thing about carp. Nice. Ooh, yeah, this one's... Cut carp! And carp! Oh. And carp! All right, let me show the camera. All right, All right guys, oh. another good one. That one made me sweat. Turn it. All right, a little bit better. We'll get a picture of that one. Put the net back. Where's all that muddy water coming from? I don't know. Ooh. It. Yeah. All right, guys. My sister's gonna be the the cameraman. Alexis is cleaning the fish or washing them. So yeah. So we're, like I said, we're gonna do a, a catch, clean, and cook. So we're gonna show you guys how we clean uh, some of the blue cats down here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just kind of get started. She's gonna be the cameraman. Hopefully, she gets everything in the view. Don't mess up. All right, so yeah, guys, so we got quite a bit of big, big blues here. Uh, we did some of the smaller ones already, but now we're gonna go and take care of some of these, uh, some of these bigger ones. All right, so we'll probably start with this guy. So usually what I do, probably want to get a little closer, kind of like underneath this fin, you can start your cut there, and you want to kind of come up to the to the head. There's a bone right here, you can kind of feel. So you want to just kind of go on a straight line. So once you get there your knife you're going to turn it slowly and then you're just going to kind of run down the back and you'll feel the spine as you're going through it go all the way down kind of stop right there at the edge you can flip this guy over now this part you can skin the catfish beforehand or you can do it with your knife if you do it with your knife just don't go too much at an angle or you're going to cut through it you basically want to be almost flat going across the board and what i'm doing with the electric knife i usually do like like pulses just kind of make sure i'm not cutting the, the skin and i just did it'll be fine i can show you how to cut it off So we went through, there's a little bit of skin left. That's fine if you got some pliers or some, you know, catfish skinners. Just grab it, just peel it off. That's all you need to do. Once you get the filet, all this right here, this is all bone. This is a rib cage, so you want to cut all that out. So same thing, just kind of start up on the top right here. 
I'm going to put my, line, my finger through there so you can see it. Start there and you run all the way around the corner. That's it. That's all rib cage. Uh, you can still eat this if you want. I know some people that take this for soup and they'll just peel the bones out right afterwards. Um, I don't, so I don't mess with that. So once you get the one side, you're gonna flip them over. Same thing from right in the back of the head, right there, down to the below the fin. All right, just cut through. Same thing, start at the head, and you're gonna run your way back. And again, guys, stop right at the edge of the tail. Flip them over, and then just pulse it. I usually just do a pulse till I know I'm going to get through everything. Looks good. There you go. And again, man, messing up today. Gotta get all this out. Usually I don't mess up like this, but that's fine. So again, you want to cut the rib cage out. So again, start it right up to here, and you're going to follow that rib cage down. All ribs, get rid of it. And then this is another part you guys can take out. This is all the belly meat. I always take this out, guys. It's really, really good food. Same thing. Right here by the side of the head, you can see that bone protruding. You want to start right from that bone, and you can go right underneath his chin. Just a straight cut down. And the same thing, you find that bone. And this is all belly meat right here, guys. So this is a lot of meat. Kind of almost looks like a steak. I'll show you how to get the skin off that also. But yeah, all skin, all bones. Let's do one more. Hope I don't miss this guy up. So same thing, a little quicker. Bottom fin to head. Turn your blade. Flip it over. skin that time and again find your rib cage just cut it off flip them over so again right back of the head to the fin flip your blade Again, no skin. Find your rib cage. Nice fillet. Can you see Yeah. Alright guys, so yeah, when you're, when you're done, it's going to be pretty much solid white. Still want to take it home, re-rinse it again in your sink, get the rest of the blood out. That's pretty good. And then again, the, the belly meat guys, take the belly meat. Find that protruding bone. Right to the chin. And same thing, find that bone. So there's a way to get that silver lining off and also that skin. I'm going to get through the rest of these fish and then I'll show you guys how I do that part. 
All right, guys, so we're going to show you how to get the belly meat off, or actually the skin, now that we got it all off the catfish. So, do you see, I'm going to end up using a regular filling knife, tongs, and fill your blade. So, the, the knife is going to be for the silver lining here. The electric, knife, the electric knife you can still use for the tough skin on the bottom. So, you should, with the, with the forks, right here there's a bone, and you should just poke it and hold it in place. And then you're going to go just straight down and you're going to go all the way across. That's it. Like I said, most of this is bone. So just get rid of that. Same thing, other one. Just get rid of that. Okay. Done with those. Now we're going to use, guys, we're just going to use a, just a regular fillet knife. Just flip it over. I usually start right here in the middle. We're just going to almost put your blade flat. And you're just going to go right through it. So it's all meat, guys. Real good meat. You just have the skin left over. Same thing on the other one. Cut right through it. So guys, that's just one. That's one of the semi-big blue cats. So you got two pieces. It's a lot of meat right there. Same thing again. Get flat. Cut right through it. Do the other side. Done deal, guys. All right. So hopefully that video helps. And uh, yeah, so the next one, we're going to go home. Like I said, we got a movie we got to watch tonight. Uh, but hopefully tonight we'll be cooking this and then we'll kind of get it all uploaded at the same time. So, next part. Uh, I think so. Uh, all right, guys, we're funny at the house. Yeah, got my wife over there. Eating some chips. We got Jesse. Addy, say hi. Wave your hand, Addy. Got my Aiden, my nephew, my niece, Alexis, and my brother in law, Louis. All right, so we're gonna. Well, I can't wait for you forever. All right, guys, so we're getting started. Alexis is gonna come hold the camera. Yes, you are. So, just finished watching Spider Man, guys. So we're gonna drink some Big Wave. Me and Louis. He's got his Kona over there. So, that's the, uh, the beer choice for tonight. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get started here real quick, guys. So the recipe we're using, if I can get it. I think my wife threw the bag away already. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's gonna be real simple. We we don't make our recipe very <laughs> difficult. So basically all we're gonna be using, guys, is some eggs. So just some large white eggs. You can use uh, extra large if you want. We're gonna be using some uh, buttermilk. So that works. So we have a quart. That's all that you need. And then we have some uh, Louisiana Cajun fish fry. You can get the Cajun one if you want it spicy. You can get the, uh, the regular one if you don't want it spicy. Um, I personally like the Cajun one. Uh, okay. Most of my family does not, so they are going to be yeah. using the regular one. Well, that's what I was and hopefully they're not too loud in the background. So, Alexis, here, here. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you real quick. So, like I said, on the eggs, usually what we use is we use just about uh, five eggs. So, five eggs, we're going to mix it in, in, into a mixing bowl. Uh, we're going to end up throwing like the one whole quart of the buttermilk. Don't need to bore you with how we mix it, but that's pretty much what it looks like. All right, so it's gonna be nice and thick. Mm. Now we're gonna end up doing, uh, we're just gonna chop up the catfish real quick. We're gonna let it soak in there for a little bit. Um, if you want, you can let it soak for a couple hours. You don't really have to. Uh, if you're kind of like on a, on a quick fix, you can just kind of throw it in there and then you can go into the bread and things right after. Uh, but yeah, so just some uh, large eggs. Like I said, I do about five and then I do one quart of buttermilk and then we're just gonna start chopping up uh, pretty quick. So. Thank you. 
So we're doing the catfish guys. We'll just show you a couple pieces here. All right, so usually what I do is I just kind of slice right down the middle. Kind of start getting some pieces ready. I'm gonna get that. Like I said, I just want to cube them up. Don't want to make them too, too big. So we're just gonna be breading those pieces. Like I said, since a lot of these catfish, is not like the catfish you buy at the store. They're gonna be a little bit bigger. The pieces are gonna be a lot thicker. So we wanna try and cube them up, you know, into some smaller portions. Make it a little bit easier. I'm actually gonna be leaving one aside for Alexis because she was gonna want it grilled. Or actually, we're gonna cook it in the frying pan. But the bigger ones, we are going to be eating tonight. So I think like I said, things about like six or seven of us here tonight. There we go. All right, guys. So we're gonna uh, we're just gonna finish cutting up the rest of these guys. We're gonna let them soak, like I said, probably about like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna be cooking them in some uh, peanut oil, and we're heating it up to about 375. And we'll show you that part. But once we start cooking it, it's only gonna take probably about like four minutes to get it cooked up. So we're gonna finish this part here real quick, and then when we get ready to kind of throw it into the fryer. Uh, get Alexis, we'll get the camera back on and then we'll kind of show you that that part next. But like we said guys, when we're doing the recipe, it's all very, very easy. We're not doing a lot of seasonings or spices. It's just a very simple recipe, but it comes out very, very good. So yeah, so stay tuned. We'll show you the next part after this. Cool. Hello? No, I'm just okay. Just keep it down. They don't know how. Yeah, they need to learn. Okay, what am I supposed to be focusing on? Oh, you just plan it. All right, guys, we're going to start. So, yeah, uh, we've already had the catfish soaking for a while. So, it's probably been soaking maybe 15 minutes. Like I said, you can let it soak for a couple hours if you want. If you need to do this real quick, you can just let it soak for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and you're fine. So, what you're going to end up having, you're going to just basically take it straight from the, the, the liquid mix. You're going to go to the dry mix, and then you're going to go straight to the fire. So, you don't need to go from liquid to dry, back to liquid, just, just straight liquid to dry and then straight into the fryer and you're fine. Uh, usually what I like to do is I'll kind of separate it onto a plate first before so I can throw all the pieces in at one time. And you just want to get your pieces, just get a couple of them, just going to throw them in there. And all you want to do is just hold them pretty good. And then we got some little like baskets and tools that you can, you know, kind of throw all of this stuff in at once. but. This works just fine. You don't need to get all fancy. That's pretty much all we're gonna do, guys. Just get them all breaded. Like I said, we'll just kinda get them off to the side. We'll probably get a good, maybe like, eight to ten pieces before we throw it into the fryer. And each one I'm doing this, I'll usually use two of those, uh, two of the bags of that Louisiana breading. Um, they're only like I think a dollar a bag, so you don't have to worry about using too much. You're gonna end up throwing probably quite a bit of this away at the end. Uh, but it's fine, guys. Better just put a little bit extra breading, make sure you get a good coating on it. And like I said, the oil, we have like just the peanut oil. We've already preheated it. It's about 375 degrees. And once we throw these things in there, they're only gonna be cooking for about maybe four minutes tops. Switch over there. I'm playing Smash Brothers. 
firefighter. Alright guys, so once we got them nice and breaded, we're going to start tossing them into the fryer. That's kind of what they look like. Here's a little tip if ever you do beer batter <laughs> fish. <laughs> don't use the basket. Yeah, don't use the basket. We did that once. Uh, we didn't really figure it out. We did beer batter, we used the basket, and it pretty much just stuck to the basket. All right, we're gonna let it sit. Like I said, we're gonna time it for about maybe four minutes or until they start floating. And while that's cooking, let me show what my wife's making. What do you have it outside? No, oh, sorry, in there? We were thinking about doing french fries, but we're going to do some potatoes instead. So these are just red russet potatoes. So she just cubed them up and then she used some McCormick potato seasoning. We'll let that cook for about 25 minutes. And that will be our meal with the fish. Going pretty good. Uh, and like I said, guys, we're gonna let that cook for probably, probably about four or five minutes. Sorry, three, four minutes. Uh, a lot of times when they start floating up to the surface, they're pretty much ready to go. All right, guys, so we're right at about the four minute mark. They're already floating. So I'm gonna say these guys are done. Look at the camera and kind of come around. Yep. <laughs> oh, you got it ready also. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Once they kind of start floating, they're gonna they're gonna be good. So let's put them some paper. Let them dry out a little bit. Don't want to eat them right now. Because it is going to burn. So I think we only cut up about four fillets, so that's about two fish. And this obviously is not all of it, but just those two fish guys, the size of that we're catching, I mean, we'll be able to feed you know, at least seven people for sure. So we're gonna let these cool down, and then I'll probably get my sister to taste test them, I mean, the Alexis, and they can give you their feedback on what they think it tastes like. All right, so stay tuned. All right, guys. So we finished most of it. I got one last batch to do. My sister, the potatoes just came out. My sister's gonna try some out. We'll see how it tastes. Uh, I want to try a piece before she tries her piece. So I'm gonna get a small one. Yep. I like it. Uh, See what my sister says. I like to do that a lot. Oh, that's what I do. All right, Joe. Do we have sauce or anything? Just try a bear. Without any bear? Mm -hmm. Try a bear without anything. Mm -hmm. Shake about it. Can't get any tartar sauce. I have tartar sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Tartar sauce. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The breading is good. All right, guys. And the potatoes. And the potatoes. <laughs> the karmic seasoning. All right, so we got one last batch to make. I think that's about it. We're gonna enjoy our dinner. Finger uh, looking good. Finger looking good. So first catch, clean and cook. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, if it goes well, we'll probably do another one. Next one we'll probably do will probably be for uh, redfish. So it'll either be uh, redfish on the half shell, or maybe we'll do some redfish tacos.
But we'll see. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks a lot. See y'all later. Bye.